Is Cardano really a ghost chain? Why is Cardano disabled on Coinbase? If you want to learn all about it, then stay with me to find out more. And if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell. Welcome to Cardano Rumors, the best place for your daily dose of Cardano. Cardano has been decreasing alongside a descending resistance line since reaching an all-time high price on September 2nd. So far, it has fallen by 64% since the aforementioned all-time high. Currently, the token is very close to the $1.07 horizontal support area, which has been in place for 236 days. A break down below it could trigger a very sharp fall. Cryptocurrency trader CryptoCapo tweeted an ADA chart. He stated that the token is expected to bounce at the $1 horizontal support area. The movement since the aforementioned all-time high resembles a five-wave bearish formation, in which ADA is in the fifth and final wave. This means that after the drop is complete, a sizable bounce would be likely. A potential target for the bottom of this movement is found between 86 to 92 cents. The target is found using the 0.618 length of wave 1, black, and the 1.61 external length of wave 4, white. This would present a scenario in which ADA sweeps the June lows before reclaiming the $1.07 area and eventually breaking out from the descending resistance line. Is Cardano really a ghost chain? Where to start with Cardano? There is a lot going on, and so much criticism gets thrown Cardano's way that it is difficult to know what to take seriously, and what to filter out is nothing more than the usual crypto noise. There are definitely some arguments that just do not stack up though, and to get a truer assessment of where Cardano might be heading, it is worth identifying them. Is it really a ghost chain? One of the regular criticisms you will hear is that Cardano is a ghost chain, meaning that regardless of whether or not it is functional, it does not have any actual development and no one is using it. But is that actually true? It has been reported that in 2021, Cardano was actually the blockchain on which there was the most development on GitHub, edging ahead of its rivals. And, you do not have to spend long looking into Cardano to find that there is an entire ecosystem of dApps in production right now, to be deployed, it seems, in the near future, as can be seen on this interactive map. Then there was the news this week that the Korean electronics giant, Samsung would be partnering with Veritry to engage in a large-scale conservation project in Madagascar. Veritry offers a blockchain-based platform through which to address environmental problems, and it functions on Cardano. For a network that supposedly has no activity, that looks like a remarkably tangible real-life use, demonstrating a meaningful level of trust from one of the most high-profile corporations on the planet. If Cardano is a ghost chain, then it is experiencing a lot of paranormal activity. Is Haskell a problem? It is said that because Cardano uses the Haskell programming language, developers do not want to work on it. However, the problem with this dismissal is that it is never followed up with any inquiry as to why Cardano uses Haskell. The founder of Cardano, Charles Hoskinson is clearly no dunce, and Haskell is not second-rate, and yet, the but they use Haskell argument is presented as if settling on Haskell was an ignorant blunder, rather than a deliberate selection. The reality is that Haskell is precise and secure, and well-suited to financial products. In fact, for those reasons, it is often used in fintech, including at places such as ABN AMRO, Barclays, and Morgan Stanley. In fact, there are multiple examples of Haskell being utilized with resounding success. Now, admittedly, that might not sound very exciting, when part of the appeal of crypto is that it's unregulated, cypherpunk, high-risk slash return reputation. And, there is an enormous benefit to onboarding developers through accessibility. But, keep in mind that it is exactly that perception of lawlessness and risk, and being an open mic free-for-all, that, when it comes to anything related to personal finance, it keeps larger numbers of people away and prevents full mainstream adoption. Perhaps you like it that way, in which case, fine, that is understandable. However, if we were just to ask, objectively, what kind of blockchain would get middle-of-the-road, financially prudent users on board, which equates to a lot of people, then the answer might not be, whichever blockchain is sexiest, but rather, whichever blockchain looks safest. And, in that case, if we were ranking for stability and prudence, and an image, whether it is accurate or not, that is not too out there, then Cardano would be highly placed. Why is Cardano disabled on Coinbase? Reddit forums have been chattering over the weekend that Coinbase holders of Cardano are unable to send or receive that specific crypto to or from any digital wallets. When I personally tried to send that specific cryptocurrency to another of my digital wallets this morning, 
a pop-up notification appeared that stated card auto send receive functions have been temporarily disabled. However, a separate sale and purchase of Cardano, I executed this morning on Coinbase went off without a hitch. Centralized crypto exchanges, such as Coinbase, typically provide a handful of services to users including crypto storage or custody, staking of crypto to earn interest, buying and selling crypto, and seamlessly enabling the transfer of funds into and out of e-wallets. The ability to send and receive digital assets from digital wallet to wallet is a major benefit for crypto holders, while the hindrance of this service can be a major headache for users who can't gain immediate access to their funds. Cardano Transfer Outage on Coinbase The funds transfer outage for Cardano has been in place since Friday. There's been no official word from Coinbase as to why this issue is isolated to ADA nor any estimated timeline provided for restoration of service. This is the message users see when they sign up to get updates on the outage. Sends receives are currently disabled for Cardano. While we work on a fix, your funds remain secure on Coinbase. You'll receive email notifications when incidents are updated, and text message notifications whenever Coinbase creates or resolves an incident. One possible explanation for the Cardano-focused outage came from a Redditor called High Root Farms who posted that Cardano developers recently completed a system update that required receiver address validation as a security upgrade for anyone sending Cardano to a digital wallet. The Redditor went on to assert that Coinbase had not updated its system yet to reflect the change. Messages this morning to both Coinbase support and the Cardano Foundation for clarity on the issue have not received responses. According to the Cardano Foundation, the coin is a proof-of-stake blockchain platform that strives to allow changemakers, innovators, and visionaries to bring about positive global change. At the time of writing, Cardano was trading at $1.11 down 3.66% in the last 24 hours. It's currently ranked 7th on CoinMarketCap.com with a valuation of more than $37.3 billion. Outage Updates Sign Up from Coinbase Anyone interested in getting automatic updates on the status of the funds transfer outage can visit the official Coinbase status page and sign up for text or email updates. While affected users can't transfer Cardano directly to other wallets, they should be able to convert their Cardano to cash or another crypto. However, if you convert Cardano to a different crypto, make sure you have the precise corresponding send slash receive address of the new crypto before initiating the transaction. Buy and sell cryptocurrencies on an expert-picked exchange. There are hundreds of platforms around the world that are waiting to give you access to thousands of cryptocurrencies. And to find the one that's right for you, you'll need to decide what features matter most to you. What's new about IdaWall? IdaWall team recently had announced the start of its wall token pre-sale round and now is pleased to further update the community regarding its process with 50% tokens sold out so far. Meanwhile, the team at IdaWall prepares for the Edo wallet launch as well in the coming weeks. And with the vision set, IdaWall aims for a major listing during the first quarter of the year at price of $2, further announcement is expected soon. The IdaWall platform enables users to manage, research, and quantify their current and future initial DEX offerings and token pre-sales in the Cardano ecosystem. Edo Wallet is an exclusive application that allows users to store their private keys to send, receive, and spend digital currency under the Cardano ecosystem. In addition, users can browse and use DeFi applications, and even more. Furthermore, Edo Wallet is a wallet to execute trading Cardano tokens. It is simple to use as it aims to make trading easy and possible for everyone. Above all, the wallet offers low-cost fees. And trading on the wallet is relatively fast and users can quickly execute buy and sell orders. What are your thoughts on this? Tell me in the comments section. If you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a like. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video. And remember. The information provided is not trading advice. We strongly recommend independent research and or consultation with a qualified professional before making any investment decisions.